Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. <sighs> Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find, and in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but, um, I have some business to do. Better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, the Prima will ask you about how to run a business! Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please, take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please, seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we'd better get going. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look, it's 
seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily going to win this procurement contest Lady Dingwang has set up. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private, and we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information! Information's just what we need right now! Let's follow them and see what we can find out! Not here! Hmm. Let's keep looking! <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some Mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Xinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <clears throat> you ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Paimon's name is... well, Paimon! And this is Paimon's travel buddy! Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <sighs> you, you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Leela Harbor! There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know! Laws? <sighs> no. 
Apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you... <sighs> that would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Mm, anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor. And she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other adepti, though? Hmm. I'm super curious. <laughs> 